Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Spellbinders card kit of the month and making a couple quick and easy mini slimline cards. I hope you'll stick around, find out more about the kit, and see what I'm going to create. Starting this month, I'm going to be featuring a few of the Spellbinders Club kits here on my channel. The other day I shared the new Stitching Die of the Month Club and the Wednesday Adams inspired card that you see up on screen. Coming up soon, I'm going to be sharing a creation using the new Large Die of the Month. And in today's video, I'm going to be using their updated Card Kit of the Month to make a couple mini slimline cards. In front of me are just some of the items that come in this month's kit. To get more information, you can check out the link in my description box below and there will be more photos and fun examples that were already created. Now starting this month, January 2023, the card kit has changed just a little bit. Up until December 2022, you got a stamp and die set in your kit, but they have taken that out and brought the price point down on the kit. But don't worry, you still have plenty of cute die cut images with the chipboard stickers or the ephemera. And for sentiments, they sent some puffy stickers with great ones to use on cards. I think this is a great idea if you want something quick and easy to make. Or maybe you have a crafty friend or family member who's new to card making and you could get them one of these because it even comes with the adhesive you'll need to put your cards together. Since it is the beginning of a new month and I wanted some quick and easy cards to make, I thought I would pair it with the January 2023 sheet load of cards. I did debut this on the first and I'll link those videos below. Originally it called for 12 by 12 paper, but I'm going to show you in this video how you can easily use 6 by 6. As I get into the process, I will tell you about other tools and products that I bring in. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! The first thing I'm going to do is choose my pattern papers. I will need to pick two 6x6 six six pieces from the kit. I love how these are sized smaller for cards and how some of them have the gold foil. You know I love some foiling. Now once they were all spread out in front of me, I picked a sheet that I wanted to use and then I tried to find a coordinating paper to go with it. I did try a couple different ones and I decided on the yellow pattern paper to help bring out some more of the yellow in the more busy pattern. Then I brought in the card fronts from the kit and I chose two yellow to do my matting. The kit does come with some A2 envelopes and cards, but since I'm going to be making that kind of larger mini slimline size, I will just use cardstock I already have on hand. I'm going to be using the single card dimensions that are given on this month's printable, and I'm going to start by cutting my 6x6 six six pattern papers. Now before we make the first cut, make sure if it has a direction, you know which way that is. And what we're going to do is cut this straight in half at 3 inches wide. Now we have our piece A for the background. For the other strip that's left over, the first thing we need to do is take one inch off the bottom and then with what is left over at the top, we need that to be two inches wide. So we're just going to cut an inch off the left so it's two inches by five inches tall. You will get three pieces for the card fronts from each piece of 6x6 pattern paper and there's just a little bit left over which later you'll see how I use that on the inside of the cards. I cut that second piece of pattern paper in the same way. It is super quick and easy and I love that there won't be any scraps left over. 
Next, I'm going to cut the mats for the two smaller pieces of pattern paper, and that's where the card fronts from the kit are going to come in. I'm going to cut this first piece to two and a quarter inches wide and five and a quarter inches tall, and then that will be the mat for that middle size piece of pattern paper. Then from what is left over, I cut a piece that's three inches wide by one and a quarter inches tall, and that will mat the smallest pattern paper. Now there are some scraps left over, and I'm just going to hang on to those to use for future projects. I cut the second piece of cardstock in the same way. Since I've already showed you how to assemble this month's sheet load of cards in the process video which I will have linked in the description box, I went ahead and matted all of my pattern papers and got everything placed onto the card bases off camera. You'll see here I also used the scraps that were left over to decorate the inside with some cute little fishtail pieces. And because these were so quick and easy to cut and put together, I made a second pair just to kind of show you how choosing different pattern papers changes the look of the cards. Almost like with the pattern paper earlier, I laid all of my ephemera out in front of me so I could make my choices. I'm going to be decorating the cards with the ephemera from the kit, and I just kind of picked some out and put them up to the cards to see what I thought. Now I didn't make you watch the whole process, here is a look at the ephemera that I chose for each of the cards. To adhere these pieces to the cards, I'll be using the foam dots and the tear tape that came in the kit. Some pieces will get popped up with foam and others will get adhered flat down. Now you'll see here on this first piece, I actually used the sides of the foam dots as well and cut them into strips and I did this for a few of the pieces on the cards, but I just kept adhering and popping up where necessary until all of the cards had a little decoration. My next step was to get a sentiment put onto the cards. Now the one on the left, it has the letter board that reads, you are loved. So I'm just gonna leave that one as is. But for the other three, I pulled out the chipboard stickers and the puffy sentiment stickers from the kit, and I chose one for each. Then, because you know I love a little bling on my cards, I pulled out the gems that came in the kit, and this might be one of my favorite items from it. These are so pretty, like the top dome is clear and there's color at the back, but then up in that clear dome are little gold flakes. They are so gorgeous. I ended up putting a three on each of the card fronts. I just kind of sprinkled those around in a triangle, and here are some close-up looks at the finish cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these four quick and easy cards using the Spellbinders January 2023 Card Kit of the Month and the January 2023 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.